What's going on everyone? This is the Mac Roberts back again with another NBA 2K21 My Player Builder video. And today we're gonna be taking a look at the best Sydney Moncrief build. Now, Moncrief, as well as the Bucks of the 80s as a whole, have pretty much fallen under the wayside in the annals of history due to the fact that they were just super underrated and they never made it to the NBA Finals. Of course, that's really hard to do when you've got teams like the 76ers with Moses Malone and Dr. J, the Big Three Celtics, the original Big Three with Larry Bird, Parrish, and McHale, and you've also got a rising Michael Jordan and the Bad Boy Pistons all in the same conference. However, what Sidney Moncrief did was be a lockdown guard who was the first and the second defensive player of the year, winning it back to back. He was also a five-time All-Star and he made it to the Hall of Fame and his career shouldn't be on the look. And neither should his teammates, Bob Lanier, Paul Pressey, and Marcus Johnson, who at the time of recording is a finalist for this year's Hall of Fame class. So without further ado, let's get into the build. This is gonna be shooting guard, hand in this doesn't matter, Jersey number also doesn't matter. I just chose four because that's the number he wore when he was on the Bucks. For the pie chart, you're going to go with the blue and red half and half pie chart. And for the physical profile, you're going to go with the balanced physical profile. Now for the attributes, you're going to bring your close shot up to a 90. Your driving layup up to a 91. And you're going to bring your driving dunk up to an 85. And that's going to give you 17 finishing badges. For shooting, you're gonna max out your mid-range shot, max out your three-point shot, max out your free throw, and you're going to bring your post fade up to a 62. And that's going to give you six shooting badges. For playmaking, you're gonna max out your pass accuracy, and you're gonna max out your ball handle, and that's going to give you 12 playmaking badges. Lastly, for defense and rebounding, you're gonna max out your interior defense, max out your perimeter defense, max out your lateral quickness, max out your steal, Bring your offensive rebounding up to a 47. And you're gonna spend the rest on defensive rebounding. And that's going to give you 19 defense and rebounding badges. So 17 finishing, six shooting, 12 playmaking, and 19 defense and rebounding badges is a total of 54 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with the fine. Height is going to be 6'3. Weight is going to be 200 pounds. He actually weighed 180 pounds. But the reason why I'm not going with 180 pounds is because I wanted to bring his interior defense up just a little bit. So that's why I'm going up with 200 pounds. Of course, you could go with 180 pounds if you wanted to. It's completely up to you. And for the wingspan, I'm going to go with the minimum wingspan to help out with the shooting a little bit. So at 99 overall, you're going to have a 90 close shot, a 95 driving layup, an 85 driving dunk. So you do get all the contact dunks. And for your shooting, you're going to have a 75 mid-range shot a 64 three-point shot, an 84 free throw, and a 67 post fade. For your playmaking, you're gonna have an 80 pass accuracy and an 87 ball handle. And for your defense and rebounding, you're gonna have a 60 interior defense, an 88 perimeter defense, an 86 lateral quickness, a 93 steal, and a 70 defensive rebound. Your physicals at 99 overall with the gym red badge are gonna be 94 for speed, 93 for acceleration, 96 for vertical, and 83 for strength. For the takeover, you could either go with the slasher takeover or you could go with the lockdown defender takeover. Uh, if you really wanted to, you could also go with the shot creator takeover. It's completely up to you. Uh, I wouldn't really go with the playmaker takeover because he wasn't really a facilitator. Uh, he was more of a just lockdown defender. He was like a combo guard, but he was just undersized at 6'3". Uh, but I'm gonna go with the lockdown defender takeover. And the build is complete and you have built a two-way slasher, shades of Mitch Richmond, Tyrese Halliburton, and Bradley Beal. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're gonna put Acrobat on gold, Contact Finisher on gold, Giant Slayer on gold, Relentless Finisher on silver, and you're gonna put Lob City Finisher on bronze, and Slithery Finisher on gold with Pro Touch on silver. For your shooting badges, you're gonna put Catch and Shoot on gold and Difficult Shots on gold. For your playmaking badges, you're going to put Bailout on gold, you're going to put Downhill on gold, Flashy Passer on gold, Lob City Passer on gold. And for your defense and rebounding badges, you're going to put Clamps on Hall of Fame, Defensive Leader on Hall of Fame, Intimidator on gold, Off-Ball Pest on gold, Pick Dodger on gold, and you're going to put Titles Defender on silver. 
All right, everyone, this has been the best Sydney Moncrief build. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel overall, and you'll also be kept up with everything we do in the channel, so you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests, so if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for next gen. Uh, I'm not doing current gen so much anymore, but I'll do it for a quest. So if you have a current gen build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below as well. Just say, hey, I want this build for current gen, and I'll try to make that build up for you. Last but not least, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.